Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new toy hunting video. Um, yeah, instead of going to flea markets, this time I want to check out some stores again because I have a couple of days off and um, today I want to check out two. This one, which I've never been to, it's called Nochmal or Nochmal depending on how you want to say it. It's kind of interesting. I've never been here. Um, it's actually the thrift store of the, our uh, local uh, garbage removal company. So the stuff in there should probably all have been already thrown away. And they picked it up and uh, I mean the good, the good stuff and put it here. But it's everything obviously. It's clothing, it's furniture. It, but it, apparently there is also a toy, um, a small toy aisle in there and my friend um, Cotton Candy Kittens she has told me she has been extremely successful here but um, she also goes like every week I guess so you really have to come in every time all the time then you're probably lucky uh, because they bring in new stuff here every day I guess so I have no idea if I will find anything and after that I will visit um, Uncle Phillips which the store you should be familiar with if you're following my toy hunts and then also this week I want to check out two other stores um, but this will probably be a different video so let's go in okay let's start where the Barbies are I mean, right away I see that there's nothing really impressive. She is an older one. Ugh, I have no idea. Very bad hair. An old stuffy love. And a couple of newer ones, obviously. Oh, she's also oh I know I know her face let's uh, it's very yellow let's change that yeah okay better <laughs> she is a my first Barbie from the 80s I know that by the way the eyes are painted but also her hair is so cut Seems every doll is four euro, which is fine if it would be a good one. Okay, this is everything they have in terms of ponies. <laughs> Just a silly um, Preggy and a McDonald's Applejack. What is this? I have no idea. I have a lot of board games. Every plushie is one euro. Uh, oh my gosh, I have so many.
okay let's have one more look around the corner there uh, because all of that in there is for children around that little square of uh, shelves but that way not really anything um, these cute wall decorations of Winnie the Pooh yeah a whole stack of these uh, als zitiere den Wald verließen magazines I remember watching that show uh, when I was little like a cartoon but pretty serious topic to be honest um, yeah more plushies I think the most they have is plushies but also board games and you know puzzles and all of that that is in these boxes there so that one's pretty old <laughs> um, but to be honest nothing that uh, would really interest me so nothing that I would want to pick up some more Benjamin Blümchen but yeah I tried I tried one more look from above because the upper level is actually um, all books CDs DVDs and a little cafe as well it's a nice store but I didn't find anything so interesting store and I guess if you're living closer here if you can go here every week or more often than it's worth it but I didn't find anything both of those 90s or 80s Barbies were nice but super cut hair and the bodies were very discolored and had the legs had a lot of um, you know those not pony cancer but dolls also have those white spots um, and for four euro I can find better dolls at flea markets so it's a good concept look here this is where all the stuff comes in new stuff gets delivered all the time and I should come here more often but I need like one and a half hours from home to here so it's not really the best location for me but at least I've seen it I will go here more often probably um, so let's head to a complete toy store and I bet there will also be a lot of dolls already some Barbies but all the new stuff she's from the 2000s Okay, yeah, here it already starts. A box filled up to the brim with dolls. But I'm pretty sure I've seen every single one of them already before. But you never know, you never know, you have to check it out. Whoa, look at that cute Monchichi. Um, that one looks really interesting. I've never seen one uh, like this. Super pastel colors. I mean, full price, obviously. Uh, but if you're into Monchichi, then I don't know, these floppy ears. Wow. This. This. 
a giant K2 and a giant Vader. They look cool. So this is one of the swapping hats from the early fashionista days from Barbie where you could not just swap the hat but the whole kind of upper body. Weird concept. And my guess is that like 90% of what's here I have already seen because the stock is not super rapidly changing and I guess if good stuff's coming in then it's also gone very fast. Yeah, for example this, the Magic Nursery doll. I've seen here since a year I think. So yeah. So many weird dolls. I mean, what size is this? This is like the size of a super size Barbie a little bit, but like it clearly is not. Lovely 90s Barbie logo. Oh my, oh, 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 oh my god, this is cute. Um, oh, I love it. I think it's battery operated. <laughs> this is a skeleton. <laughs> over here. Whoa, it's very thick. It's actually pretty amazing. <laughs> I think I've seen her a couple of times already here. She also has almost the same face as the doll that I took with me last time at the flea market. She has better hair. Um, so she's definitely early 80s. So she could be the one of a lot of them. Um, as far as I can remember she doesn't have bendable legs which is interesting. Yeah, no. Oh and this, this has been here all the time. Oh, another cute 80s girl with exactly the same face. Um, I have heard that because from that era a lot of dolls used that face. Some of the you know budget like fashion play dolls and um, super super dance or something etc. So also the Sunset Malibu etc. So um, it's kind of a little bit called the Malibu face. Um, 
it's it's obviously a completely different face mold than the Malibu Barbie had. That would be early 70s. But um, the late 70s, early 80s, you know, sunset Malibu, sun whatever Malibu. Um, and, and a lot of early 80s dolls had that face. She, she's another one. Does she have bendable legs? Yeah, she does. She does. <laughs> Kelly. Wow, she looks super creepy. <laughs> She has rooted eyelashes. <laughs> A very old clone. A diva stars she is the doll line from the early 2000s I think they definitely started more like animatronic dolls um, but this is more like fashion doll size kind of a little bit taller than Barbie and uh, in the face is like I don't know Ugh, no interesting to see but diva stars and as always i think they're always the same fashion packs that i've seen hundreds of time so stuffy love kevin What's this one sylvia marie let's dance i never seen that but this is also very old Okay, there's Steffi dolls at the back. But it's called Sylvia Marie. Okay. It's definitely 90s. Mm, yeah. This one I've definitely seen. Las Vegas, Steffi Love. Same as this one. 90s and here's another Kevin mm, no. I have already like checked out all of these boxes here and this off camera there's really nothing too interesting uh, lots of like mini uh, furniture stuff, Barbie or other dolls or uh, I don't know. What is this? I, I know it's a pacifier, but hot flashing. Okay, this was probably the time when you would wear pacifiers as necklaces. And this one is hot and flashing. When is this from? This is too interesting doesn't have a date.
Pegasus from Hercules. Very yellow, but very big. Okay, this skirt again. I have already two of it now. And I've also heard from other people that they find this skirt all the time. I've seen it also in lots of like offerings on, on online, eBay Kleinanzeigen, etc. It's from Twirly Curl Barbie. It's a Barbie from the early 80s. Why is the skirt so like so common? <laughs> I have no clue and I've never seen the top to be honest. And the doll is is a long haired early 80s Barbie doll. Um, anyways. This is all more 2000s stuff. And the typical clone thingies. Oh. Ah, Kira. She even has her necklace and her giant earrings. She is. Ah, uh, she's from. I think in German it was called Hawaii series or in Europe and in America this I mean it, it's a beach doll obviously oh she looks stunning um, tropical splash now I know now I have it tropical splash Kira oh, I've already picked up so many Kiras lately I mean um, too many so many two <laughs> three 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 Kiras she's 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 pretty amazing. Maybe I take her. And um, by the way, the giant my size Barbie is still here. I've seen her a couple of videos ago here. Then I was just able to identify her, blah, blah, blah. And the next time I was here, I thought she was gone. I thought she, someone bought her, but because I didn't see her, but it's like very easy to not find something here because it's super uh, unorganized. It's a mess, basically. It's a mess, but it's a nice mess. Ooh, who is this? Eh. This is another Kira. Oh, she has also a super interesting face. And she also comes with a necklace. This is Glitter Beach Kira. Glitter Beach Kira. What? Oh my goodness. This is made out of a balloon, I think. It feels like rubbery balloon stuff. Um, um, I don't want to leave her. Nope, newer Steffi Love, but the same kind of made of a of a hot air balloon thingy. Not hot, made out of a balloon.
Mm-hmm. This is something from Barbie. It has a Barbie tag. It's not really my thing, but I mean in terms of the colors, red and Um, I remember that in these drawers here there used to be so many Barbie clothes and honestly there's not a lot left this looks quite cute I don't know what it is it doesn't have a Barbie tag mm -hmm, maybe this does have a Barbie tag it's just a simple mini skirt probably late 90s what is this no another sock This is her. She has been here for the longest time. This from um, glitter hair, Babe Barbie, maybe. I think this could go to I'm not sure but is, isn't it one of the jewel secret skirts if it's not Barbie then it might be a knockoff version oh there's lots of accessory stuff in there what's in there mm. the next box this was was this one was up on here and then everything was in front. So I think here are more Barbie size clothes again. This is good. Uh, but then I don't know. Uh, I also found this in there. This is from Anastasia. I know that two Anastasia dolls wear here all the time. I don't need it, but I think it might be nice to le leave it out here and not completely hidden. Then I found this. Uh, what is this? Looks uh, ugly, etc. But it. Can you see it? It has a Fashion Avenue tag. This was Fashion Avenue? <laughs> I guess something was cut off or whatever. This. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I also found this. I have it already. It's from uh, Capri, Capri, I think Capri Barbie, but I might put it on one of the dolls up there. Not getting it again. Oh, this is cool. 
These I always need. I actually know what they are now. <laughs> They're from separate uh, accessory, hair accessory packs from the Cut and Style Barbie. So yeah, but let's have a look in here. What's in here? Oh, also Barbie. This thing is Barbie? Maybe it's something like a pajama? Uh -huh. Anna. Wild West. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Furzkissen. Does it work? Nah, not really well. feeling I know this one but I, I don't know could also be mistaken yeah it says Disney uh, John Smith maybe or Definitely not Aladdin. Ah, something from a male Disney character for sure. What's this? Mm. Ooh. At first I thought, oh, this looks extremely destroyed, but it's meant to be destroyed. It looks like a typical early 90s destroyed jean jacket something or whatever but it's not it's made made in china so it's probably some knockoff doll hmm. this is cute no it doesn't have a tag when something doesn't have a tag doesn't mean it is not barbie it could still be barbie uh, when it was directly on a doll. This one having a, uh, a snap button instead of Velcro is always a sign of something being a little bit older, maybe. also have it it's from one of the European fashion play Barbies from early from the early 90s but it's a nice piece Yep, I was right. I was feeling like, oh, this might be something Barbie fashion pack. It's something real. <laughs> Hmm. 
Ooh, Sailor Moon. I mean, not Sailor Moon, but Sailor Venus, right? Also Barbie, 90s. Miss Millie? Sometimes I immediately have the feeling it is not a knockoff, it is something real. Uh, to be honest, it actually reminded me of one of the bikini dolls from, like they were Jasmine, Aladdin, beach water play dolls with a similar fabric. I don't know, it's a little bit ripped. I don't know if I need this. there again I have looked in this box as well and in this box there's only bigger doll clothes um, so I think I'm done oh what's actually I haven't looked at this I think it's a cassette cover 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 hmm cassette suitcase cassette case oh there's just small action figure accessories or oh, what is this no, probably. Yeah, I cannot identify things, to be quite honest. Could be anything. Power Rangers, or I have no clue. Oh, this looks like a, this looks like a shark. Is this, is this from Street Sharks? Because I, I yes, I think so. 95 Street Wise Designs. <gasps> this is the guitar that belongs to the Street Shark that I have. <gasps> I'm 100% sure this is even the color that, that one of the, the Street Shark has uh, on its body. It's probably kind of broken or whatever, but like, <gasps> Yes, see more stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I cannot identify th things like these. To me, that could be anything from, I don't, I, I don't know. There are probably a couple of things that I could identify from, I don't know, maybe turtles or, or, or motu, but like, not, not even those. I have no clue. Fire. <laughs> mm. 
Now these missiles and bang, I have no clue, I have no clue. Someone of you can identify any of that. Oh, there's a small Power Ranger. A mini I think I like him. No, I don't need him. <laughs> so yeah, that further proves that maybe some of the stuff might be Power Rangers. I don't know, for me this looks like something from Power Rangers. Uh, but Probably a giant shield. This looks cool. Okay, okay, I found another box that might be interesting because there's lots of action figures in there. <laughs> I mean, I dug it out from there. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Not action figure related, but it's Woody together with... What is it actually called? This microphone thingy from Toy Story 1. Not Edge. Edge, Edge the sketch is the other one. I don't need this one, but <laughs> I've never seen this. Probably McDonald's or something, Burger King or whatever. <laughs> kind of a G.I. Joe knockoff, I think. This is Timmy from Jurassic Park. JP, Jurassic Park, Timmy, the small boy. Um, yeah. I don't have this one. And here's Dr. Grant, Alan Grant. I have him, but this one looks better than the one I have. I don't know, what is it, five? Hmm. But at least his head isn't <laughs> chewed off. Mine has a completely chewed off head. Oh, maybe it's more Jurassic Park. I don't know. No. <laughs> Flynn Rider? Nope. Oops. Half of a Batman. Engine. This is also. This is also. This is Roland Tembo. Oh <gasps> yes. So from the second, he doesn't look like anything. <laughs> what? I, but I, I recognize his face. It's not a bad face mold. It says Engine. <gasps> What are you? Is this new Adventures of He-Man? Maybe? I think so. We cannot see any stamp, like any Mattel stamp. But I'm pretty sure he had something at his back. I think this is new Adventures of He-Man. I don't like them, they are ugly in my opinion. <laughs> Luchador guy? What are you? I mean, a pirate, obviously. Yo ho, yo ho, pirate life. Imperial. It says Imperial, so it's 
kind of a knockoff of something. I mean, Imperial is a toy company, so. This is um, from The Hobbit. This is Feely. Yep. So one of the dwarves. Feely, 100%. <laughs> Is this what? What is the suit? But look at the face. This is a hundred percent Ian Malcolm. So it must also belong to the Jurassic Park. So the um, Lost World, same as Roland Tembo. Those belong then to the Lost World, and those belong to the first JP. But did he really? come out with the suit I mean he's not not wearing anything like this in the movie so Jeff Goldblum yeah JP here it says so Jeff Goldblum's character <gasps> okay looks like Dr. Mindbender from G.I. Joe but like it's 100% just a knockoff. Oh, this is uh, this guy from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie uh, that was played by Lee Pace. I can for the hell of it not remember the name of this guy. But it's a Marvel character. <laughs> oh, Tim from Tim and Stroppy. Oops. Another pirate. And here's a Batman. I think this is the whole bag of Slovenian families. Oh, calico critters. I sometimes don't know what they are called where. <laughs> Depending on the region, they're called calico critters or Slovenian families, I think. I don't have... No. I'm not into them. They are cute, of course. Oh yeah, the high school musical thing is still here. And I guess this is the Ken. This is the sea holiday can. Okay, let's get the haul done. All in this video as well. Let's hurry up a little bit. Yeah, you saw that I found four Jurassic Park figures. Here they are again. It's Dr. Alan Grant. It's Timmy, Tim Murphy, both from 1993, so from the first Jurassic Park. Uh, my line was made by Kenner. They have really like normal limited articulation from that time, like legs, head, and then here. They came with lots of accessories, but I'm happy that uh, I have now a better Alan Grant. As I said, my other one has a chewed off head and it's super, super loose. This one is pretty good. And I did not have Timmy at all. Um, yeah, Vintage Jurassic Park is not that easy to find. I wish I would find more of the dinosaurs, but I'm happy enough with uh, the figures. And then the other two are from The Lost World, which is actually my favorite Jurassic Park. It's from 1997, so the figures are as well. Um, <laughs> Let me tell you, their clothes look like, look nothing like what they're wearing in the movie. This is kind of the antagonist in the movie, but not really the antagonist. So this is um, Roland Tambo. I mean, at least he has a cowboy hat and he his facial features look a lot like the actor, but um, not the outfit at all. But I mean, the outfit looks cool, right? <laughs> um, and then we have Ian Malcolm, right? That's exactly what Jeff Goldblum was wearing in the movie. 
no. This actually um, came as a like set, as a um, kind of a little bit like a uh, separate release with a glider. So it was like he could he could put this on and would just have um, I don't know. <laughs> he would have kind of wings like a flying dinosaur. You know, he could. Uh, very strange whatever not a part of the movie but also again i think from the face you can recognize him again immediately so they good did a good job with that so and you can see here the jp logo and this one i recognized because of the engine logo there at the back engine is like the rival company you could say <laughs> in this movie so yeah i have those really happy about that um, the coolest boy toy related thing, actually, I mean, you could also say these are really cool, but that I found there, I think, in my opinion, is actually this. Um, what are the odds that I run across this, I recognize it, and yeah, indeed, it is the guitar that belongs to the street shark that I have for a couple of years, I don't know, two years, one and a half years, whatever. Um, he's the one that has hair, so he's a rocker dude. Um, never had his guitar. Now I do. <laughs> so uh, there is this one thing broken off here. You could probably put it around his like thumb or some somewhere, wherever. But you can still put it on really, really good. I just would probably need to put a strap around it. There's also a hole here for a strap. And then street sharks are a boy toy line you could say you know these giant sharks these anthropomorphic sharks from um uh, 1993 four uh, they started releasing them this one's from 1995 um they are jawsome <laughs> and uh, i'm really happy to have now this guitar and what are the odds to find this in this mickey mouse um cassette cover C cover Mickey Mouse cassette um, suitcase and the rest of the stuff is Barbie so that's why I just uh, mix it up here a little bit let's get the boy toys out of the way and get to all of the Barbie stuff yep you saw them not one but two Kira dolls uh, Kira is one of Barbie's friends uh, in the 90s or she already started this face mold was already from uh, the early 80s uh, was mostly used always for characters that were supposed to look a little bit more Asian um, and she's always dark hair so really black hair she has black hair and um, these are both from uh, the like mid early 90s um, so they're both beach dolls uh, I don't have any of their real outfits, but this is the um, Tropical Splash Kira. I recognized her immediately by her earrings and her necklace, which you cannot see too well, but yeah, there you see it. Um, and she is the Glitter Beach Kira, um, which I recognized by also the necklace. Uh, Splashen, uh, spl Splash not splash in color there are two beach lines that both have the splash tropical splash um i don't have as i said have her outfit but i have pieces of outfits from the other dolls for example this was barbie's uh, bikini bottom um this is ken's swim trunks um so this is kind of the outfit style um she would have this pattern that she has on her earrings a bikini um this doll's from 1994 or if I'm not mistaken, let's check again. Yeah, so box date 94, release 95. So um, amazing doll line. And I gave her now a um, like a mixed outfit. For now, I really like it because I try to pull in the um, the gold from her oops from her accessories and this little bag and also in the shoes. Uh, this uh, blue uh, skirt and the jacket are from a um, like late 80s, early 90s, not sure, early 90s fashion pack. And this little super short top skirt thingy. Uh, I actually don't know where it is from. It might be from a Barbie, probably from a newer Barbie. 
but it did the job and pulled all of the colors together of her um, earrings, of her eyes, and this is the whole outfit which I think I'm gonna keep her in this for a while now. And Glitter Beach Kira, I uh, also pulled this outfit together from uh, like the colors of her necklace. So I knew I wanted to have orange. So um, that's why I got put uh, this uh, Hawaiian fun uh, skirt on her, which I also found in the store. You saw it, uh, at, at least I think you saw it. I think I filmed when I found this. Maybe not, but I definitely found this also there. It is also in the, the um, clothing pile that I will show you as well. Uh, which is from um, the Kira doll, actually, from the uh, Hawaiian Fun series. Um, not to mix up with this series, which in European countries was also called Hawaiian. Barbie Hawaiian, da da da. Um, but a Hawaii, Hawaiian Fun or Hawaii Fun Barbie is from 1990. And also the Kira, etc. And um, all of them had these hula skirts. Um, so I put this on her and just a matching top with these colors that pull the colors of the um, necklace all together. And I gave her this hat, which is actually the hat from the United Colors of Benetton Ken. <laughs> uh, and just these little um, like clone sandals. They're not really Barbie shoes, but they are really nice. And they kind of fit and kind of not fit, but yeah. Anyways, I love how, how these stylings came out. So there's that. And now I will probably pin the camera down so you can see all of this goodness here. So at first here's this little scale, sailor, like nautical theme top. Uh, it doesn't have a Barbie tag in it, so I have no clue where it is from, but it's really cute and it's good quality. So I picked this one up. This is actually a skipper. Um, Dress. I tried to put it on a Barbie and I was like, oh, that doesn't fit, so it must be for a smaller doll. And yeah, it turns out it's from 1995 uh, Skipper's Teen Time Fashions. So there's that. Um, indeed, this is, you can see it, it is a Fashion Avenue um, pajama top. So it came with a little like negligee top uh, under that and a little uh, short that uh, had the same um, gingham check pattern. And yeah, indeed, 1995 Fashion Avenue. <laughs> um, this is, um, yeah, I actually wasn't really thinking that it would, but it has a Barbie tag, so it is uh, from late 90s, or you could also say early 2000s, because uh, you can still see it has this Barbie tag, which is the B in the typical like 90s uh, style. But this fashion pack was already released uh, at the like the, the box or the, the card had the newer Barbie logo, which is the early 2000s Barbie logo. Um, it's from a set of uh, what are they called? Fun to dress fashion, so for small hands. Um, so it was meant to be like, yeah, you can learn how to tie belts or whatever. I picked it up because I thought it looks really nice uh, 60s style. So. Then this. What is actually this strange thingy? Um, uh, I thought it's a it's a skirt, but it's actually a dress. I knew that it would be early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, and yeah, it turns out it's from the Easy Living Fashions uh, from 1989, and it is a dress that you know a halter, let a halter, like just without any like uh, straps, strapless, a strapless dress. Uh, and you would have a little pink bolero over it. So, yeah. Then this, I actually have this dress. Um, it goes to a uh, Barbie, fashion play Barbie from, also from 89, so a little bit uh, later, uh, earlier, <laughs> later, a little bit earlier. But mine is not in a good, con I mean, it's an okay condition, but um, mine is a little bit frayed over here. So I figured, yeah, this also the color is a little bit nicer. Um, I take this because I think it's a really, really beautiful dress. And then this one, I was like, ah, I, ah, I don't really like it. Uh, definitely has a Barbie logo and the 90s Barbie logo, but what is it? And, and when I was at home, sometimes I'm just like, I have no idea. And then I'm at home, it hits me. 
because I actually know this jacket. This is from Tori or Susie from the Generation Girl line. Another line that I'm into, it's from 1999 um, and this is the sporty girl uh, from, from that time. So Barbie became a new face mold, etc. A lot of things changed the whole fashion. Uh, but this was very fashionable back then and this is um, the jacket from Tori. Um, yeah, this, now it doesn't belong to it, but she would have a like, like yellow top underneath. So the color combination looks a lot like her. Um, this is also just a normal like Barbie skirt. Um, it has the same tag, so it um, could be late, it will be late 90s. So it could be already um, from with the new Barbie logo on the box or on the, on the card, but I have no idea where this comes from. I don't know, I just took it because nice yellow Barbie skirt. Also this one, I figured this must also be, I think even this is the front. Um, this is, it sits so low, it is not high-waisted at all, it's like, um, super early 2000s style so although it still has this logo I figured it might be early 2000s so yeah but it is a nice piece little fringe here <laughs> yeah I picked up the Sailor Moon dress well Sailor Venus I have not really any um, like connection to, to Sailor Moon uh, when it was in uh, on TV back then it actually started in 1995 on TV already in Germany um, and then the following years I didn't watch it it was like very like people in my class at my school were laughing about it so I, I thought it is really crappy and not good so I never watched it why would I when everyone thinks it's crap so uh, I didn't come into it back then and when I was really heavily into manga anime I tried to watch Sailor Moon when it was on again in I have no idea the 2000s and I couldn't watch it it I don't know I came in too late so I was never a Sailor Moon fan but um, yeah I don't know I just picked this dress up because sometimes I mean I have found Sailor Moon dolls at flea markets that had no clothes on so I feel for the heck of it just just take it it's I think from the earliest uh, released Sailor Moon dolls from Bandai as far as what I could find out I don't actually know when they are from um, because in, in Japan Sailor Moon started in 1992 so they are probably not that old I, I, I just let's say mid 90s mid late 90s that's probably when those dolls were sold in Germany um, yeah this colorful bunch here i said it already in the video i have already so many of them but i actually also use them sometimes on dolls uh, they all come from separate fashion accessory packs for the cut and style barbie so yeah two three more of them this really does belong to glitter hair barbie i so the brunette the brown haired one i have her perfect I can put it on her I actually got this doll a year ago at that store or half a year ago I don't remember when it was um, so I figured this is probably even the one that I uh, to the one that belongs to the doll that I do have so this is amazing um, yeah I like to pick up these little um, butterfly hair clips they are mostly from fakies so my little pony fakies or these fakie elephants that glow in the dark or some other fake dolls might have had them. I just like them. Um, this is from a gymnast Barbie. I have one gymnast Barbie that has both. I have another gymnast Barbie that doesn't have any, so I can put it on her. I'm not sure if the orange ones came with both versions or all versions, but this is definitely gymnast Barbie. Um, one single sock, because I'm sometimes <laughs> missing one sock, so never it's never bad to pick another sock up but I don't know I just picked this up it might not be from Barbie but I don't know it reminds me of um, I don't know like early 90s you know bar uh, what is it called a uh, style um, style magic style Barbie style magic <laughs> whatever uh, or also like I don't know Barbie and the Rockers, whatever it's probably not but it's like a hair accessory kind of thing you could put it in hair of a doll like this tada so and then this is actually the biggest mystery to me <laughs> um, 
So it reminds me 100% of the skirts that go to um, the jewel, what is it called? The jewel secrets, my goodness, to the jewel secrets Barbie, which is from the mid late, mid late 80s. Um, 87 or so. Mm. <laughs> uh, they all had this feature that they came in skirts that you could tie at the top, like and they, they were not open at the bottom, but that's how you could also use this thing just as a drawstring bag. I have the Barbie, I have her kind of complete, um, and this is kind of the same technique, it's the same size, but this is not from that set. Also the like the patterns on it are more like early 90s. Um, uh, and then I searched for uh, were there any like clone dolls that did this, were there fashion packs from, I don't know, Steffi maybe or Petra or whatever, or other clone dolls. And I couldn't find anything. Um, the funny thing is also, can you see, I thought at first it's just bleached at the back, that the, the colors are not as vibrant as in the front here with these. No, they sewed it on the wrong way. So they sewed it it on inside out this is the back side of the fabric they should have sewn it on the other way around because from the inside it's even way more um, visible and from the seams here you can can inside I could see that this is just sewn on wrongly uh, it has this like little uh, thing here where you could obviously tie it together so Still here, so it's 100% something from this, but I couldn't find if this is from a real Barbie thing or if this is fake. And also, the strange thing is that this lace up here is the exact correct lace that is actually no, not on the Jewel Secrets Barbie, but on uh, Dream Glow Barbie, also from the 80s. This is the exact Dream Glow Barbie lace. So like, what the, uh, can someone please verify, <laughs> tell me, identify what this goes to? But yeah. Oh yeah, and then I also picked up these. Uh, they are just uh, like cutouts from old Petra. You can still see the logo. Doll card bags, probably from fashion packs. And uh, they just show a couple of Petra fashion packs from probably the late 80s, early 90s. And I like to have something like this so I'm able to identify fashions. So if I find, for example, I don't know, this skirt and I cannot identify, does it go to a Barbie or whatever, um, I will have uh, a way to find out, oh, this is a Petra skirt. And I do like Petra, Petra. Uh, I had a couple of Petra dolls when I was little. They are good quality, um, better than Steffi Love, for example. And I was already guessing that I would uh, come out mostly with dolls from that store, uh, Barbie things, because it's hit or miss. Either he got something really cool in and then you get it immediately, um, or it's just all the rest that is still there. And I was happy enough that I found this one box with Barbie clothes, so that's why I came out with this uh, cool thing. And yeah, a couple of really cool boy toy things as well. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of this. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up to um, uh, also comment down below if you want and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, so that I see you in my next video again when you are subscribed. And don't forget to click the notification bell uh, in case you uh, don't receive like information just on your normal YouTube feed that my uh, videos like when when I have a new video up because for some reason for some uh, of my subscribers my videos don't show up on their feeds and I cannot change that there's no way that I can do anything I can just remind you to click the bell notification and then you get you really get notified when I have a new video so thanks thanks a lot for watching see you real soon and May the toys be with you. Bye.